There's a shakeup in the U.S. Senate as Senator Sinema leads the Democratic Party today on Political Access. We're going to cover this story and talk about what it might mean for the next couple of years. So this was the big news story from yesterday. I'll scroll through a couple of articles here and let's talk a little bit about this. So Sinema was already on the outs with her party because she did not want to abolish the filibuster. She has bucked her party on a couple of votes, preventing certain things from advancing. But for the most part, she is pretty much a Democrat but probably would be considered a more moderate Democrat, given her low approval ratings within the Democratic Party for her lack of complete allegiance. So for the next Congress, this means there will be three independent U.S. Senators, including Bernie Sanders of Vermont and Angus King of Maine. Now, all three of them will be caucusing with the Democrats, so technically, I don't think a whole lot is going to change. Maybe Cinema does go in a different direction, but with a 51-49 to 49 Democratic caucus in the Senate, She's going to have less power than she used to, but again, if she does team up with Joe Manchin, they still could have a lot of political sway. So she does say she never really fit into any political box, that's why she's leaving and wants to become an independent. Her values haven't really changed, and to some extent I understand that. Sometimes your political party does pass you by, but I haven't read anything about her actually criticizing the Democratic Party. But the thing that is a little weird to me is... It's not like she's been in the Senate for 20 years and things have changed. She's only been in the Senate a few years. It's hard for me to believe that there is enough motivation there for her to want to become an independent. I've heard a lot of people say she's just voting for the corporate interests and that she has no integrity whatsoever. She's just trying to save herself politically. Yeah, I understand the corporate part, but what about all the other Democratic senators taking corporate money? Why aren't they voting like Cinema is? So some of this does have to be her own beliefs, her own views, her own values. It can't just be because of the corporate money and the lobbyists. So what about the other factors? Well, if she's an independent, she won't have to run in a Democratic primary. And she was already expected to face a challenger, Ruben Gallego, more progressive. So this would avoid that intra-party fighting. But we don't even know if she's going to run again. But if she does, now she could face a Democrat and a Republican. That'd be a fascinating race. And last I heard, her approval rating was very similar across the board with Democrats, Independents, and Republicans. It was under 40%. And to me, that makes sense. Most Democrats are not going to support her, but she's going to get that independent support because she looks like she's a little bit less partisan. And of course, some of the Republicans are going to support her because she's going a little bit against their opposition. So they're going to like that. I do think it would be a heated primary battle when she's up for re-election in two years. So now if she does run again... It's hard to predict what would happen. I think she would get a large chunk of the vote. It all depends how many Democrats would still support her and how many Republicans would cross over to support her. I suppose we'll see what her voting record is over the next couple of years. But I'm guessing she'll still be voting to confirm judges, cabinet positions, and the bulk of the typically expected Democratic votes. So to the people that say she just wanted to save herself politically, well, I disagree with that to some extent. I think if she wanted to just save her political life, She would have voted like Mark Kelly did, and she'd have been done with it. So she obviously has some views that are a little bit not in line with what we would expect from the Democrats these days. So to me, she made it harder on herself. Yeah, of course, you can trace that back to some of the corporate money, but she had an easier path to winning re-election in Arizona. She made it harder on herself with her own votes. So we'll see if this pays off. Maybe it'll be like John McCain, where he was viewed as kind of a maverick. He went against the Republicans here and there, especially on repealing Obamacare, and he was kind of viewed as a hero. Now, I understand it's going to depend on what the legislation is. Obviously, Democrats are going to hate this. Republicans are going to like this, even though I don't think anything is really going to fundamentally change. But the opposite party always loves when one of them votes with or switches over to their side. Democrats, they like Mitt Romney, they like Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski, even someone like Liz Cheney, and Republicans, they love someone like Jeff Van Drew or Tulsi Gabbard. I think on a psychological level, people love to see an individual enemy criticize the enemy at large. I think this is most easily seen when any Republican comes out with anything against Donald Trump. The Democrats, most of the media, they eat that up, but I don't think it should change their overall opinion of where that person stands on the other issues. But anyway, here is a table that shows the success of other senators that have switched their party while in office. And a lot of them, they did win re-election. I guess becoming an independent, there's a certain kind of appeal with it where you're not part of either party. So this hasn't happened in a little while. There's been a lot of political shifts since the last time it happened. 
So we'll see what happens. But one last thing I'll say is all three of these independent senators, most people just consider them Democrats as that's who they caucus with and that's who they vote with the vast majority of the time. So the independent label, I think, is pretty superficial. I think they should just be Democrats and vote how they want. Maybe they'd be moderate Democrats. Maybe they would be hard left Democrats. But just changing the label, I don't think, changes your voting. And I think there could be a range of views within the Democratic and the Republican Party. But it is what it is, and it's an interesting shakeup here right after the midterms conclude and the Democrats kept that seat in Georgia. It's always fascinating to see what will happen next. Maybe Joe Manchin will follow suit. He'll become an independent. You never know. So let me know down below if you have any thoughts on this story. What do you think is going to happen? And on your way out, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video.